We're gonna look at the e-bike flow app for the Bosch Smart System electric bikes. We've already got the bike powered on here. In order to use this app, you really only need the LED remote, which has Bluetooth enabled. So I've gone in, I've enabled Bluetooth on my phone, downloaded the app, go ahead and click it. There you go, it says Quartz Bike, syncing, ready to go. So it's already synced up to this bike, which is great. Gives us our battery charge level, our estimated range, custom ride modes, and then down here, we've got mileage and how often you're using those different levels of assist. So let's go into custom ride modes. This is really cool. We can actually customize Eco and Turbo. We cannot customize Tour Plus and EMTB. Those rely a little bit more on your torque and they're designed to be a range of power and speed output versus kind of limited on Eco and then full blast on Turbo. Tour Plus, it's just sort of a a less powerful version of EMTB in my experience. It's still very punchy and very, very capable with high torque, but you're just gonna work a little bit harder and it means you're gonna get better range. EMTB, that's for when you're really climbing and you need the bike to respond quickly and give you potentially up to that full power, 85 Newton meters of torque. If we click into Turbo or Eco, you can see that we'll have the option to adjust the assistance, how dynamic it is, so how quickly it gives us power, the max speed, and the top level for that is 19 miles per hour, and max torque, 85 Newton meters. So it's the same kind of thing, like I said, for Eco. So those are the two different assist levels that we can adjust, which would be very handy if you wanna conserve energy or just go a little bit slower. So we'll go ahead and close out of this. So the second tab is a map, shows where you're located. The third shows a history of rides, and the fourth is where a lot of the fun stuff really kicks in. So you've got a profile, we can look at our connected services, Apple Health or Strava is another option. Communications, so we can sign up for product updates and marketing from Bosch, help center, feedback, terms and conditions, privacy policy, service description, uh, corporate information. This app is really cool. It, it actually allows you to update your your bike so you can do software updates without having to go into the shop you can set up the wheel circumference trip reset custom riding modes that's what we got to earlier so it's just another way to get there and then the e-bike info so we can see you know which version of the bosch power tube 750 we have like horizontal vertical we've got the kiox 300 there's our drive unit it's the performance line cx smart system led remote and we can reset and remove this if we want to. So as it stands, this app is, it's fairly simple. You know, it's really just about tracking your rides, adjusting Eco and Turbo, and maybe doing some software updates. But over time, Bosch is really providing a lot of information about the bike and your rides so that third parties can, can make other smart systems and kind of make this an internet of things device and then potentially have third party apps. So I, I can imagine maybe someday Trek would have their own e-bike app and they would be pulling information from the smart system and, and using that to give you a, a custom a custom experience with their app. And maybe this ties into a helmet or, or other you know third party hardware devices that are smart system enabled. Something that confused me about this app initially was its name, Bosch eBike Flow. Now, there are two other smartphone apps from Bosch. One is called the Smartphone Hub, and that's where you actually use your phone as a display panel, and it requires a, a separate mount. It used to be called Kobe. It was acquired from another company. I haven't seen it on too many bikes. And then they also have an eBike Connect app, and that's compatible with the original Kiox and Nyon displays. So we've kind of got three phone apps floating around. It seems like the eBike Flow app is the only one that's compatible with the Bosch Smart System. It seems like the feature's a little bit limited. They talk about that expanding in the future. Again, I just wanted to be, wanted to kind of clarify that and help guide you. I think that's about it for now, guys. Uh, my goal is just to go through this real quick, give you some feedback on it, especially if you're considering an upgrade to the smart system compared to some of the older products. I've done separate videos for the LED remote and the Kiox 300. I uh, hope this helps you. I love you. Ride safe and we'll see you on the next one.